Have you ever taken a walk in a forest? You may not have known it, but you were exploring an ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is made up of all the living and non-living things that interact in an environment. Can you name some of the living things you might find in a forest? That's right. Trees, birds, insects and other animals. A single forest ecosystem might contain hundreds, even thousands of living things. The living things in an ecosystem depend on one another to survive and on non-living things too. Animals eat plants and other animals to gain energy. Let's imagine that the ecosystem is like a video game. We'll call it food chain. Do you know about food chains? A food chain is the transfer of energy from one living thing to another. In our ecosystem video game, each animal has points to represent how much energy it has. As each living thing gets eaten, it loses its energy points, and some of them are transferred to the next living thing in the food chain. First, tiny seeds from a tree are breakfast for an animal such as a mouse. That mouse could be lunch for a snake. And that snake might end up as a dinner for a hawk. The seed, the mouse, the snake and the hawk are all links in a food chain. Energy passes from one link in the food chain to the next. All of the living things in this food chain depend on another thing. Balance is necessary for all of the living things in an ecosystem to survive and thrive. A balanced ecosystem has the same population of living things over time. This ecosystem is out of balance because the mouse population has decreased. What are some of the things that could upset the balance in an ecosystem? How about a landslide? A hurricane? Or a wildfire? A wildfire can bring change to a forest ecosystem. Trees may die. Some animals may die or lose their food source. Animals may be forced to leave the forest to look for food. When these changes happen, the delicate balance in the ecosystem is upset. But change to ecosystems is not always permanent. Sometimes good things can result from a wildfire. In 1988, fires spread out of control in Yellowstone National Park. Instead of destroying the park, the Yellowstone fires improved it in some ways. Twenty years later, a conservationist named Paul Hansen toured Yellowstone. As a conservationist, Hansen studies wildlife and attempts to protect the wilderness. Hansen discovered that the fires helped new types of trees to grow at Yellowstone. In fact, they provided more diversity, more different kinds of habitat for wildlife. Some people even think the fires were advantageous for wildlife. After trees burned down, sunlight might reach the forest floor, giving energy to new seedlings to grow. And the minerals in the ash after a fire can help plants grow again. Animals may return to the forest. Some living things even thrive after a fire. One example is the jack pine tree. Its seeds are stored inside a cone, which is held together by a sticky glue called resin. But under high heat during a wildfire, that resin will melt. Many unburned seeds come out of the burned pine cones. After a wildfire, the jack pine trees may be gone, but their seeds spread out and may grow into new trees. It's not only natural disasters such as wildfires that bring change to an ecosystem, even small changes such as very cold winters, people building cabins in the woods can affect ecosystem balance. So what are you waiting for? It's time to go explore a real forest ecosystem.